Erica sits in the car. On the side of the seat is the electronic seating controls. First things first, when we get into any sport, you want to have the proper seating position. Ergonomics are very important no matter what you're doing. Let's go to this part. Yeah. So the lower button will slide you forward. What you want to do to check your seating position, just put your foot underneath the pedal on the firewall. Bring it forward so you have a little bit of a bend. As you bring your foot up back onto the pedal, whether it's the brake or the throttle pedal, you'll have a bit of bend in your, in your knee, and that'll give you more control. You can not only have more control over that, more modulation on your brake pedal, proper sensitive braking is gonna be important. You also have more force if you ever need it. The other benefit of having a bent knee whenever you're sitting in a seating position, if you do happen to have a front end collision, your knee can absorb some of that energy. That energy doesn't go straight into your hip. That's a little more uncomfortable. Second, you want to start to adjust your seat back position. So first, start with what's comfortable. Then we want to work on our distance to the steering wheel. When we want to check for a gauge, just drape your wrist over top of the steering wheel. If you cannot reach it, you want to bring it forward. Alternatively, we also have tilting and telescoping steering wheels. So underneath the steering column, there's an electronic button further down just under the column to tilt and telescope the wheel. You want to be keeping your shoulders in the back of the seat while you drape your wrist over that steering wheel. That then once you bring your hands down to nine and three and you put your thumbs inside the spokes of the steering wheel, when you go to turn the wheel, you'll be able to do a full 180 degree turn without pulling your shoulders off the seat. Your back and shoulders have a lot of nerve receptors to feel what the car is doing. More important, when we're on snow and ice, you don't feel the same way we do on tracks. You don't hear the tires the same way we do on tracks. So you want to have that feel. You want to know what that car is doing.